Alright guys, so here we are for part two of this video um, on servos. Basically in this video I'm going to show you how to set your servos at zero after you've rebuilt your servo and you rebuilt your helicopter. Okay, um, if you notice my helicopter has the wood blades on it all of a sudden. Um, I'm missing the bracket here. Um, I'm going to be showing a video uh, pretty soon. I uh, didn't catch the crash, but um, I caught the aftermath. Um, which I bent the boom, I broke this bracket here, I broke one of the blades off, I actually stripped one of the servos this side, but I rebuilt it like I showed in my previous video how to rebuild a servo and now the servo works fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to reset zero or center on your servos. Okay, this is one of the things I had to learn the hard way through trial and error because I really didn't have anyone teaching me. So I hope this video helps you guys out there. Okay, so what you need to do is get your controller, okay, because this is going to be a, a test with it, the, the helicopter energized, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, I'm going to make sure that I'm on my 300X, okay, 300X, so I'm good. I'm going to turn this off, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to throw on throttle lock. Okay, so make sure this is vital, okay? You want to throw on your throttle lock, okay? Your throttle hold. Okay. Now before I connect it, I always like to double check, okay? My idle up is off, my throttle hold is on, throttle is down. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wait for the beast X to initialize. Okay, so just initialized, I now have control of the helicopter. So if you see me moving my swash, everything is working fine. Okay, now I'm, I'm on throttle lock, so I'm going to go ahead and move it up, check my pitch. Everything is working good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, I'm sure I'm on throttle hold, I'm going to go ahead and put it into idle up mode. I'm going to bring the stick to mid stick. Okay, mid stick. Okay, now that I'm in mid stick, I'm going to check my servos. Okay. So if you look at my servos, okay, this servo here is straight across, okay, and I have a 90 degree angle on the connecting rod. This servo, straight out, 90 degrees, okay. This servo here is straight, actually it's tilting a little bit because of the gyro, but straight and then 90 degrees, okay. So the way you set this is make sure you're at mid stick, idle up, throttle hold on, always make sure you have throttle hold first. Okay. If you want to be safe, you can go ahead and take the rotor blades off also. Um, that way you're you're really really safe. Okay. So if I know that I'm at mid stick, I know that the servo needs to be flat basically. Okay. And I know that this rod needs to be straight up and down. Okay. So if you have servo arms with multiple holes in it, you can go ahead and um, pick the hole that's appropriate once you get this level to make this as close to 90 as you can. Okay, the closer to 90, the, the flatter the swash is gonna move up, the better she's gonna track when you when you do climbs and hard maneuvers. Okay, so I go ahead and take that off. I'm at mid stick, like I said. At mid stick, I know it's supposed to be flat. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. If this was up or this was down, I'm gonna move it to that it's flat. Okay, now that it's flat, I double check. My connecting rod is very close to 90, okay? These are actually the servo arms that came with the helicopter. I just keep rebuilding the servos over and over and over. <laughs> so I've been pretty lucky with these servos. Usually I just strip the gears. Okay, go ahead and screw that back in. Okay, so now my arm is set flat. You want to do that on all your servos, and you want to make sure that your arms are as close to nine or as close to vertical as you can get and you want to have a 90 degree here if you can get it. Okay, as close to 90 as you can get it on all your servos. The closer to 90, the better off you are. So if you can't, um, what you need to do is you start you need to get different servo arms that have holes in it so that you can pick the appropriate hole to give you that 90 degree angle. And that's pretty much all there is to it, setting up your servos. I know it sounds pretty complicated, but once you do it a couple times, it's actually pretty easy and you'll get used to doing it. So now that I'm done, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure throttle hold is on. Make sure my pitch is working. So if you look, my swash moves up and down very evenly. Okay, 
And that mid stick, like I said, you should be exactly midway. Okay. Now the tail servo, how you set that up is when you first initialize the helicopter, before you even move it, okay, it'll be at, at its startup uh, setting, I guess. Okay. The servo will be at straight up and down 90. Okay. If this servo is off a little bit, you need to turn it, get it back to 90. Okay. And then you need to move the whole servo to give you the appropriate amount of pitch to hold it straight. Okay. So when it's just sitting or um, hasn't taken off yet, you should always have just a slight amount of pitch. Um, and if you think about it, the way that this pitch is would make the helicopter tail hold this way, which is countering the anti-clockwise rotation that it wants to have. Okay. So once again, flat 90 degrees straight up and down this is actually not now because I keep moving the tail that's my gyro kicking in but initialize the battery as soon as you initialize it check the servo okay because the servo will set back to zero check it it should be straight up and down okay when it's straight up and down then you need to adjust your positioning on the boom to get your tail to have just a slight amount of pitch to get it over and you might have to adjust this so you're going to want to make a couple of test flights if it starts to pull one way or the other, move this forward or back to give it an appropriate amount of pitch. Um, and then try again. You know, usually with the Beast X, I don't have any problems. Once I get it pretty close, the gyro will do its job and take over. But for some reason with my 450s and stuff like that, they take a lot more adjustment of the tail servo to get it to a good place to where the, the helicopter will hold and track without having to give it any of um, any trim. So if you look at my controller, I have no trim programmed. Everything's at zero because the helicopter flies very, very nicely. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys can figure it out. Um, if not, drop me a line, hit me up, 808 Hobbies. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer your guys' questions and you know help you guys learn a little bit more about helicopters. Nobody was out there to help me, so um, I really don't mind helping you guys out. Send me, send me some messages, uh, send me some comments, let me know what you guys wanna know. And I'll try and help out as much as I can. I don't know everything, but things that I do know, I'm more than happy to share. All right, guys. Hope to see you guys out there flying. Have a good day.